we're updating a law that hasn't really been changed in about 20 years. A law that deals with a controversial but important subject, sex. The Illinois Department of Public Health has reported that we have some very disturbing STD rates in this state. Most of them are among teens and young adults. The Illinois House is trying to improve that statistic by passing legislation that expands what is covered in sex ed. The bill says public school students grades 6 through 12 would learn everything from abstinence to sexually transmitted diseases to contraception. The kind of curricula I've seen on what they call comprehensive sex ed, it is showing uh, students as young as 11 years old how to use condoms. Something Ralph Rivera says isn't appropriate. Rivera is a legislative liaison for the Illinois Family Institute. This bill is a mandate on schools forcing them to teach something that may be against their community standards and we believe that is best left up to the parents and teachers of that school. But Planned Parenthood's Director of Government Relations says it would be. The bill would provide schools with several curriculums to choose from so teachers could be medically accurate while still being age appropriate. You don't teach calculus before you've taught addition. So that's what we're trying to stress here is that there is a building of information throughout the years of school. But the bill doesn't change the discretion school districts have on teaching sex ed in the first place. Rivera says if educators aren't comfortable with the new guidelines, it's possible they ax the topic altogether. They have a choice. They could just not do sex education. But I don't think that's what this uh, the sponsor and the proponents of this bill want to see. In Springfield, Kimberly Howard, ABC News Channel 20.